Utopia Vanilla Cocoa is a two out of four. As an owner of Tobacco Vanilla by Tom Ford and Tobacco Honey by Guerlain, as well as Latafa's Camra, this one just doesn't measure up. Next, we have Love Fest Burning Cherry. This is a one out of four for me. It smells like a lesser version of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. And at a price point of $100 to $130, it's just too high. When you can get a stronger EDP, meaning Supremacy Tapas, for just $65 from Sweet Teaseries. Next, we're moving on to Eden Juicy Apple, a two out of four. This smells like a fresh, cold apple pie. It's very addictive and amazing for about 30 seconds because then it dries as a cosmetic, plastic, or lipstick. If you like that, maybe pick this one up. Moving on, we're going to Yum Pistachio Gelato. This has a great pistachio smell that fades almost instantly. It leaves this dried odor of just old dates and almonds and old clothes. So this for me is like basically a zero out of four. This is a pretty vanilla. Vanilla 28 is a three out of four. It's a great classic vanilla, something straight out of the kitchen, but it just doesn't get me over the edge with a better vanilla like Delina Exclusive from Perfumes de Marley. Now this, this is a baddie worth getting. A 100 out of four. Vanilla Rock Candy here, she is like a sophisticated party girl in Beverly Hills. The marshmallow is definitely present. I'm loving the white caramel and the patchouli at the end makes this one a lasting favorite girl impression. This is the one I'm actually taking home.